Are you looking to save money on your grocery bill? Making yogurt is a great way to do it at home. In this video, we'll show you step-by-step -step how to make fresh yogurt using raw milk. So let's get into it. Making yogurt was one of the first things I did as a newlywed. I love to make yogurt because it saves so much money on the grocery bill. A quart of yogurt that's organic and grass-fed can be between $10 and $12. Or you can take a fresh gallon of raw milk, $8.50 at our farm, and make four quarts of yogurt that's eight, and make four quarts of yogurt for the same cost. That breaks it down to two. That brings it down to just over $2 a quart. The first thing you do is pour your milk into a stock pot. Today I'm using one half gallon. The stock pot should be reasonably larger than the milk that you're using, about double the size. That way if it sloshes or starts to bubble, you don't have a huge mess. You're gonna heat the milk on the stove over medium heat until it reaches 180 degrees. If you don't have a thermometer or want to do it the old fashioned way, you can tell it's reached 180 degrees by the foam and steam coming off the top, as seen in this video clip here. You don't want the milk to boil over, so be careful and pull it as soon as you see it start to steam like this, or reach 180 degrees. Next, you're gonna want to cool the milk down to between 110 and 117 degrees. You can either leave it on the counter and do something else and come back in a half an hour. If you wanna speed up this process, you can fill your sink with cold water, add ice if you prefer, and set the, the warm milk into that water. This will cool it down very fast, so don't go too far and make sure to continue to check the thermometer. If your milk has gone too cold, you can simply reheat it back to the 110. You don't have to go all the way back up to 180. At this temperature, you can now add the culture safely. If it's any warmer than 117 degrees, you risk killing the culture. If it gets too cold, it might not culture properly. For a yogurt culture, you can use a packet, store-bought culture, or you can use your favorite yogurt brand. Today I'm using North Country Creamery Yogurt. This is a brand we carry in our farm store and one that my family loves. Your yogurt will taste like the culture that you use, so make sure to pick a good high quality yogurt culture. Next we'll add a quarter cup of yogurt for every quart. So I'm using a half gallon, which means I'll be using half a cup of starter culture. I'm gonna mix it in thoroughly, but you'll see it's quite hard to get it incorporated, so there still will be yogurt chunks. That's okay, It'll as long as there's chunks in every jar that you pour. In this next step, I'm pouring it back into the jar that I used so that it's less dishes. You can do that as long as it's not been contaminated or you can use fresh sterile jars. Most of the time I leave my yogurt plain because I like to use it for cooking and my family members can flavor it and add sweetener as they desire. At this point, you can use a yogurt maker following its general instructions or if you don't have one, simply wrap the yogurt up in towels and use your oven as an overnight incubator like I'm doing here. If you're looking for raw milk in your area, you can check out this video we made on finding raw milk near you in the description below.